I, I'm almost ashamed to say that uh, the towers had already fallen by the time I knew anything was going on uh, on September the 11th. Uh, I was in Rome and uh, I'd been in my office, I'd been in class and uh, uh, the, the corridors of an ecclesiastical university are not quite as replete with video screens and uh, uh, information uh, as they are around here so it, we caught up with things rather late. But I, I remember vividly when someone told me this had happened and I, I scarcely believed it and I, I went upstairs uh, and uh, I watched the replays and uh, I, I felt sick uh, at that moment. Uh, I suppose because this, this event came right into the middle of my professional life because my work is in uh, Islamic studies uh, and in Muslim-Christian relations. And I, in that moment, I, I said to myself, have I been complicit in something here? Have I been spending all these years trying to get people to, to think more positively about Muslims and to, uh, to develop more, uh, more friendly relations between Muslims and Christians. Have I been somehow part of the cover? Uh, and is the cover now finally off? Is this, what, is this what Islam is about? Is this what Muslims do? Uh, and so it was, it was a, a moment of, um, of crisis for me in a way. Um, it, it touched me very personally, though I, I didn't... Uh, I didn't know anyone who was actually, uh, who died in, in the attacks. Uh, so coming into the, the middle of, uh, of my professional work, uh, in one sense it, it, it spurred me further. I, uh, that was a momentary reaction because I realized, well, I have two choices. I, I can either join uh, the people now who want to erect further barriers and uh, to try and separate Muslims from Christians who want to uh, increase the level of suspicion, uh, who want to uh, give credence to the, the idea that all Muslims are like this and that Islam is essentially incompatible with life on this planet. Or I can redouble my efforts uh, to, to try and introduce Muslims and Christians to one another. Uh, so it has been, uh, I'd have to say, a. Um, a real push to to my professional work. Uh, it's also led, I suppose, to the, the kind of popularization of, of Islamic studies. Uh, I, I got into this uh, this business uh, on the basis of a letter from from Rome, which told me, "Would uh, please go and do a, a doctorate in Islamic studies." Um, and so there I was with a with. Uh, a qualification and in a, in a particular area, which even in 2000 and uh, pre-September the 11th was considered kind of exotic, uh, uh, perhaps a bit marginal. Uh, but suddenly uh, my specialty was right in the middle of things and I, I was in the middle of a growth industry. Uh, it meant that there were a, a great deal uh, more calls on my time. Um, and that I think was, was positive because it, it it really it brought me out of the academy more into uh, parishes and civic groups, uh, small towns in Italy. Uh, a lot more people were, were interested to know something and felt they needed to know something, so it, it probably multiplied my work four or five times, uh, and that was, that was great. Um, at the same time, I think it made, uh, it made the work a little more difficult because uh, I work in the field of theology and I, my interest really is in how Muslims and Christians relate to one another as believers and how we have different takes on, on a similar scriptural history. Uh, but almost every event uh, then became a political event and it, it was very difficult and it, it remains difficult I think in the academy uh, to justify uh, for people a focus on religion and theology when uh, what they're concerned about is security and politics uh, and global relations of that sort. So uh, people in, in my line, and I think Paul Heck, uh, who, who's my colleague in the, in the theology department in this area, we both find that uh, it's important not to allow the, the security concerns and the, the politics to take over uh, and that um, the theological, to, to treat Muslims as believers and to treat Islam as a, 
as a, a religious choice, um, that, that can get lost. I, I'll give you an example. I, I was giving a, a talk out in Bethesda uh, recently at a parish, and uh, the talk was, was uh, advertised as people of the word. Muslims and Christians look at John's gospel together. Okay. Now, you can't get much more theological than that. Uh, and at the end of uh, the end of the evening, I, I asked the group to, to tell me what they would like to do the following week, and you know, was there anything in particular they'd like followed up? And a woman who'd paid very close attention, was always smiling and very engaged, s put up her hand and she said, I, I'm, "I'm really surprised that you went throughout this whole evening without even mentioning terrorism." You know, uh, I was expecting to to speak about terrorism. I said, well, you know, what don't you get about John's gospel? Uh, Everything cannot simply be reduced to uh, to that issue, and that that is one of the things which uh, we've had to struggle with, I think, in the academy. At the same time as being um, uh, having an opportunity to be more present in the academy, I, I think we've we've also had to stand our ground as religious studies and theologians. 